if you're fishing artificial lures, or even if you just want a hook that'll swing freely on the end of your line, the one knot that you have to know is a non-slip loop knot. Here's how you tie it. Now to tie this knot, the first thing that you want to do is you can put down your, your jig or your lure. You want to take the, the line for your leader and just tie a regular overhand knot like this. Now don't tie it all the way and pull it all the way tight so that it, it's actually a knot, but you want to get it started and you end up with a loop that looks like this, right? So this loop is important and you want to get this to about the size that you want it to be above your lure when you're done tying. Now, so I have it about this size. That's going to be good for this demonstration. Then what you do is you just take the tag end and you just put it through the eye of the lure. You can let it kind of hang there. And then you bring it back up the tag end through the loop in the same direction that it came out of the loop. So it came out of the bottom when I was bringing it down. So it comes up through the bottom when I'm bringing it back up. And what you end up with as you pull the tag end further and further up is something that looks like this, right? So you have your overhand loop and now you have the loop going through the eyelet and back up top. From this point, it's rather simple. You just take the tag end, which is up top, and I'm gonna hold this right here just to keep it steady. You just take the tag end up here and you just loop it around a couple of times around the main line. Just two times is fine. And then bring it back through, underneath and through, just grab the end of the tag line and just pull the tag line and the main line just to start seeding this knot. And you can see it's starting to come together there, right? So it looks like it's come together. You can see that it has the knot underneath. Now it's still not totally tight. So then grab the hook or the lure, the jig and pull it tight. Just pull the main line and there you go. So in some variations, you can have this so that the tag end faces down. Sometimes it comes out to the side like this one. This one's fine. And again, you can make this a smaller loop. I did this bigger for demonstration purposes, but once you have this really tight, just go through, cut the tag end, and there's your knot. Now, one tip, when you're going to tighten the knot, I do suggest, especially when using monofilament or fluorocarbon, wet the knot, wet the area. So just put it in your mouth, get saliva on it. You can use water. That keeps it from burning the mono as the heat of the knot when it's tightening gets into the mono. So it makes it slide a lot easier, but this is what you end up with. You have a nice strong knot tied onto the end of a jig or a lure. It allows a little extra motion in there and it'll hold up all day. Great knot to use. That's a loop knot. The loop knot is quick, simple, and strong. Now there are other knots that you should know. So if you want to go through more of those knots popping up on the screen are some links to some other videos and I'll see you in the next one.